Welcome to Spocket for Suppliers. In this video, we will review how to set up a Shopify integrated supplier account with Spocket. First, let's review how the Shopify integration works with Spocket. When you are approved as a Shopify integrated supplier, your current listings will be imported to Spocket. This includes the title, product images, description, and inventory. Any subsequent revisions to product descriptions or images will not be automatically updated on Spocket, but you can reach out to our support team to request a resync. If you add any new products to your Shopify store, those will automatically be integrated with your Spocket account. If your Shopify inventory changes, the inventory on Spocket will automatically update as well, allowing for easy inventory management. In addition, any price changes in Shopify will be synced over to Spocket too. All Spocket orders will be pushed directly to your Shopify store. Spocket orders that show up in Shopify will be preceded by an S. For example, the order number will be S0001 or S0002. Every Spocket order will come with a branded invoice that you will need to print and include in your shipment. You can find this invoice on the notes section of the Shopify orders page. When you add tracking information in your Shopify store, this will automatically update in Spocket as well. Now that we've reviewed how the Shopify integration works, let's go over how to activate the Shopify integration. First, log into your Shopify account. Go to the Shopify App Store, search for Spocket for Suppliers, and select Add App. Then, you can go back to your Shopify store, select Apps, and enter the Spocket for Suppliers app. You will be required to complete the supplier application form, and once approved, your Spocket account will be integrated with Shopify. If you're already a non-Shopify integrated Spocket supplier and would like to activate the Shopify integration, please contact our customer support team at support at spocket.co. Now that you're logged into your Spocket for Suppliers app, the next step is to set up your account. Select Settings in the bottom left corner. Under Account, You'll be able to see your store name, primary and secondary email addresses, as well as your primary and secondary contact numbers. Under Shopify integration, ensure that the auto-sync slider is toggled so that products from your Shopify store are automatically synced with Spocket. If for some reason you need to set a different product title or price on Spocket compared to your Shopify store, you can turn off auto-sync using this settings toggle. This will effectively turn off any auto-sync between your Shopify store and Spocket. However, inventory, orders, and tracking information will continue to sync. Under Getting Paid, please fill in your banking details. Under Shipping, you can set your flat shipping rate, what countries you can ship to, and your processing and shipping times. If you're unable to offer flat rate shipping, you can also set a different shipping rate for each product by going to My Products, then selecting Edit. Under Return and Refund Policy, please select the return policy you would like to offer on Spocket. For more details on how to set up your account settings, please refer to the How to Get Paid video in this supplier onboarding playlist. Now that your account has been set up, you're ready to publish your products. Please note that without your banking details set up, you will not be able to activate your products yet. You must activate your products in order for the retailers to be able to see them. To activate your products, Click on My Products, choose the products you'd like to activate, and click Activate Selected. Alternatively, you can also toggle the active slider to activate and deactivate your products. What happens if you've integrated with Shopify but your products aren't showing up on Spocket? There are a few reasons why products may not successfully import from Shopify. The reasons include if your products are missing descriptions, if your products are missing images, for example, if you only set images on product variants and not the main product. If your product images are greater than 10 megabytes, if your product price is zero, or if your product title is less than five characters. If your product title is over 50 characters long, the title will get truncated, but this will not contribute to an import error. If you encounter any issues with your Shopify integration, please contact our 24-7 support team at support at spocket.co. Finally, here are a few important reminders. Please do not upload products manually on Spocket, as orders for those products will not sync to your Shopify store. Instead, remember to always create new products in your Shopify store, and they will automatically get pulled into Spocket. Please do not remove variants 
or add variants to your products which do not exist in your Shopify store. This may also break the integration between Shopify and Spocket. As a rule of thumb, your Shopify store is the parent that contains all the truest source of information. Therefore, Spocket will update your listings based on the information in your Shopify store. And that's all that's needed to onboard as a Shopify integrated supplier with Spocket. Happy Spocketing!